Time now to talk business, small businesses to be exact. Studies show that 50% of all small businesses will fail within the first year, and 95% will fail within the first five years. Don Arheit is a broker, owner of Busy Bee Realty, which next month will celebrate 10 years in business. Don is here today to talk about what she had to overcome, the odds she had to defy to get her business where it is today. And Don, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend thank some you. time with us. And 10 years, Busy Bee Realty has been in the real estate business here in West Central Ohio. Correct. Correct. Yeah. We opened, I uh, actually got my broker's li license April 11th in 2006. So, so coming up uh, just a few weeks away from that big anniversary and the statistics are out there. It is not easy for small businesses. I'm, I'm sure 10 years ago, you weren't thinking about those statistics. As you look back on it, do you remember the struggles of the early days of busy Bee? oh yes definitely definitely plus uh when i first started it was kind of in the downturn of real estate so yeah i had a lot of obstacles it's certainly any small business one of the major obstacles is getting your name out there and you came up with a unique way to at least let the people who already know you kind of understand what you're doing tying in busy bee realty with one of your first loves which is beekeeping correct correct yeah when I first uh, started, I had told a lot of people that I was going to start, but didn't tell them what I was going to call the business. And um, when they saw the signs, they absolutely knew it was me. <laughs> now, only 40% of small businesses are profitable. When you got into realty, were any of these statistics in the forefront of your mind? Was that something, did you come into this with your eyes wide open? Um, yes, definitely, definitely did. Uh, I am very fortunate that my husband has a wonderful job and um, we knew it was a risk, but it was a risk worth taking and I felt that the Lord was leading me to start the business. Certainly faith, a major part of your life. I, I would assume that your reliance on the Lord has what allowed you to get 10 years into this real estate business? Oh, definitely. Definitely was um, when I first took uh, this leap, shall I call it, the leap of faith to start the business. Um, I'm a big music fan and I really leaned a lot on a lot of Christian music to help get me to where I'm at. <laughs> What, what songs in particular do you remember um, Actually, uh, one that really stands out to me um, was uh, the song Brave. Um, that actually was my kind of my fight song when I got my broker's license. Um, I made a point of listening to that song right before taking my test just to give me the strength. I knew that God wanted me to do it, and um, I've... I mean, I was a good student in school, but I wasn't a straight A student, and it was, it was a challenge. And I really feel that if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have started the business. I wouldn't have passed my test. So, What advice do you have for, for other people who are perhaps thinking about beginning a, a small business? Um, if you feel the calling, do it. I mean, I, I took the leap of faith, and I'm still here. <laughs> so, so uh, absolutely, absolutely, if, if you feel the calling to start a business, um, it's hard work. I'm not going to say it's, it was easy. It wasn't, and there's still some struggles, but um, with God's grace, I made it, and I'm planning on staying around for longer. <laughs> you look back over the last 10 years, ha have there been a few moments where you just kind of have to go, wow, this was clearly God's hand in doing all this? Oh, yes, definitely, definitely have. Um, there's, there's been some big struggles. A um, couple years ago, I lost one of my top agents, passed away unexpectedly, and, and that really hit home. And um, if it wasn't for God's grace again, I, I wouldn't have made it past that. I really wanted to give up at that moment, and I didn't. As you kind of touched on, when you began this business 10 years ago, the real estate market was a little bit in a, a down cycle. Mm -hmm. Where is the, the market now for West Central Ohio? Oh, we are definitely building. It's definitely getting very active. Prices are starting to come up. I don't see them going exactly where they were when it was strong, um, but I don't think anyone would. Um, but it is definitely, the market is definitely improving. You recently were honored with the West Central uh, Realtor Association Broker of the Year. Congratulations yeah. on, on that honor. As, as you move forward with your business, where, do you like, where would you like to see Busy Bee Realty go from here? Um, sky's the limit. <laughs> the sky's the limit. Wherever God leads us is where we will go. All right. So. Thank you very much, Dawn Arheit from Busy Bee Realty. And